شروع کرتے ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ کے نام سے جو نہایت رحیم اور رحم کرنے والا ہے میرے ساتھ ڈینیل ہیں ڈینیل جو پاکستان میں تھرٹی ٹو ایئرس سے ایک این جی او چلا رہے ہیں اور وہ ڈیف لوگوں کے لیے ہے ویلکم ڈینیل ٹو دل اپنا پاکستان تھینک یو ویری مچ ان کیپ فور انوائٹنگ می السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ناظرین ڈینیل پاکستان سے کینیڈا میں وزٹ کر رہے ہیں اور مختلف ٹی وی شوز میں اپنی اپیرنس سے لوگوں کے لیے لوگوں سے اپنے کاز کے لیے یہ فنڈ بھی اور زکوٰۃ اور دوسری چیزوں کی بھی بات کریں گے لیکن ہم یہ ان سے پہلے نمبر پہ یہ پوچھیں گے ان کی انسپائریشن کیا تھی واٹ انسپائر یو ٹو گو ٹو پاکستان اینڈ ورک فار دا ڈیف پیپل ان پاکستان تھینک یو I met a gentleman by the name of Richard and his wife, okay. Heidi. Okay. Their eldest son was deaf, so I met them in Karachi. Okay. And then we start uh, interacting with each other. And as he, his oldest son was deaf, so as he was uh, interacting with the deaf community in Karachi, he realized that there was not a lot of education done for the young adults. Okay. We're talking here in Tikhab of the uh, early, mid-90s. Okay. Before the days of the internet and uh, where people had access to information very readily. Right. And uh, yeah, I, I understand that it's a hard work to communicate at that time in 90s when there was a time for fax papers. And uh, even in 90s, I remember there was a telex was going That's on. Right. You know? That's so right. So it, it's hard to communicate and uh, uh, join a group. Uh, to work with. So, um, how many schools you are running uh, in Pakistan? Well, long story short, they started interacting with young deaf adults to teach them basic literacy skills to prepare them for the job market. Okay. And for those who are our listeners who are from uh, Karachi, eh, they would remember the Metropole Hotel used to give Richard one room on Fridays, which was the holidays in those days, and he would bring suitcases but books and maps and pen and papers and teach the youngsters the basic skills and from there it moved to a uh, two small room in the regal chalk cinema regal chalk oh yeah i remember that okay i mean i'm from karachi so i know most of the areas and all that okay yeah. so it was a regal cinema and then they demolished it and built a plaza there okay so on the fifth floor and that was by that time the mid 90s and then the first uh, computers started coming into their market, so they set up a, a little IT lab for the deaf community and that created a lot of news. Oh, very good, that's, that, that's nice. And then from there, they did that for about 10 years and then in 2007, they opened the first school in PCHS and well, the rest is history. We have now a, a school in Karachi, in Gulistani Johar. Gulistani we have Johar, one yeah. in partnership with the Rangunwala Trust in Hyderabad. Oh, yeah. We have another large school in the humanitarian city of Rashidabad between short of Tandolaya oh, and, and another school in Nawabsha right. and another school in Sakka, one right. in Lahore and just as of last week we opened another school in Chelam. In Chelam. So Nazreen, you will see that we will continue to continue with them. So why do we see a little documentary about their schools? Um, Daniel, would you uh, we'll show the little documentary? Yes. Well? Take a, a short break and we'll come back with a, a documentary. Keep watching Dil Apna Pakistan.
the deaf should be viewed not simply as a disability group, but as a distinct cultural group that communicates in its native language, which is sign language. Education is the key to empowerment for this marginalized and underserved community. Established more than two decades ago, DeafReach schools, training centers, and colleges provide free education and skills development for deaf children, offering them the opportunity of a transformational education and empowering them to achieve gainful employment and an improved quality of life. Seven Deaf Reach campuses located in Karachi, Hyderabad, Nawabshah, Sakkar, Tandwalayar, Lahore, and Jhelum comprise a national deaf school network serving both urban and rural areas. The College and Bachelor of Arts programs provide a pathway for higher education, one of the few in the country available for deaf students. A donated, purpose-built campus with residential facilities in Rashidabad, Sindh, serves as a national center of excellence for both deaf education and teacher training. And all students are given a healthy lunch daily, improving their nutrition and well-being. Daily transport is provided to all students within a 50-kilometer radius. Deaf Reach schools foster a holistic learning approach, providing an enabling environment where students can excel, attaining fluency in three languages, sign language, English, and Urdu. In addition to academics, each student receives training in a variety of skills. Technology is used extensively to reinforce learning. DefReach created the first ever Pakistan Sign Language Digital Resources, available free of cost and providing unprecedented access countrywide to language and literacy skills development for educators, deaf children, and their families. DefReach is invested in teacher development facilitating high-achieving students to pursue a career in deaf education and positions of leadership. Over 50% of Deaf Reach's teaching staff and management are themselves deaf. Parents and family members are provided transport to attend bi-weekly sign language and literacy classes, enabling them to be active participants in their child's development, as well as to improve their own literacy skills. Working closely with the corporate sector, DefReach delivers a full circle of opportunity for young deaf adults by providing training in marketable skills and facilitating employment. To date, over 1,000 deaf youth have entered the job market as a result. All deaf children in Pakistan deserve the opportunity to learn to communicate in their native language and to receive an education that will empower them to achieve an improved quality of life. With your support, we can make education a reality for deaf children in Pakistan. Welcome back, uh, Nazreen. Uh, I am asking that the school has been going to be out of Punjab and also in Jhelum. So we would like to ask, Daniel, what, is, uh, what do you do actually, uh, the skills you were talking about that you guys teach the uh, workforce skills? To, uh, what do you do in Jhelum? 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 So what are those skills and what do you do in your schools? Good. Well, in Jhelum, you know, there's over one million deaf children in Pakistan that only 5% have access to schools. 
So in our school, um, we provide KG to BA. Okay. Uh, that's the educational aspect, and then they get trained in vocational skills such as culinary art, IT, sewing, embroidery, uh, marketing of products, pottery, and uh, we provide pick and drop to okay. the students up to 50 kilometer radius, radius of these schools. Okay. For those who are from the Upper Sin, from Sakar, for example, we are bringing the students from Shikarpur, Panawakil, Pirjogot, Pirialo, from Nawabsha, they come from Sakran, from Qazi Ahmed. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. From uh, Hyderabad, they come from Kotri, from Jamshoro. Oh my goodness. You've been to more than the places where I... I, I, I mean, I don't... Uh, I've not visited those places, but I have heard the names of all those and read about it a little bit here and there. But you've been to everywhere and you are... Uh, your cause is very nice. I, I was, uh, last time when I was in Karachi, I saw in KFC, the deaf people were working. Oh. Uh, maybe it's my, it's, it was your student. Or That's correct. That. That's correct. Actually, um, just to finish, yeah. that from KG to college, yeah. skills training program, we provide them lunch, uniform. We bring their mother and father or member of their families to the school on alternate uh, Saturday to learn sign language. Right. And yes, we provide job uh, placement. Over 1,000 deaf boys and girls have been have found job in the market, and one of them is KFC. KFC, yeah. They have hired over 100 deaf boys and girls to run their outlet, <laughs> and they own par yeah. with the hearing for salary, for job placement. Uh, the branch in North Nazmabad, uh, Fredobi, sorry, the recently the deaf employee was uh, promoted to the manager of the branch. Oh, oh the, uh, yeah, this is what I, I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, the deaf, uh, all the communication, uh, uh, the employees, uh, uh, do they learn the sign language as well? Uh, yeah. Who don't know the, That's so, correct. Actually, we do a lot of training for yeah. the managerial skills. Okay. And for our listeners here, yeah. if you visit the website psl.org.pk, it stands for Pakistan Sign Language, then they will see the only available resources for the deaf that is online. You can download the visual dictionary on your phone for the Android or iPhone. It's a visual dictionary with 6,000 signs. So before you go to a KFC next time in Tikab, just you download learn. the app and learn a few signs so you can have a very good interaction with the deaf staff. I think this is a, and when somebody learn their language and talk in their language, they feel proud of it. And that's right. That's yeah. right. Actually, you see, we in Tikab, we don't view the deaf community as handicapped. Yeah, or inferior. No, they're not. No, they're not. You yeah. see, in Tikab, next time you come to Pakistan, visit one of our school. And you see who is handicapped. That's right. Well, because we will be handicapped. Yeah. Because we can't learn their uh, skills. Right? That's correct. You it don't know true. the sign language. Yes, we don't know the sign language. Yeah. But, you know, see, so if true. we can bridge that gap, it is, then yeah. we like to think that the deaf can do anything. They can do their capable bodies and they, they want to learn as well as the other ordinary people. That's as you have seen in a documentary a few moments ago, 50% of our teaching staff is are is, deaf. Are deaf. Okay. Fifty percent of our managers are, are deaf. deaf. So, do you have another uh, documentary you want to show to your uh, uh, audience and viewers all over the world, so that they can uh, um, uh, they can inspire them, uh, their neighbors, uh, kids, uh, whom they know that they can the kids can learn being able body, but only thing because they cannot. Um, uh, communicate. Yes, yes, definitely. So we'll show you a short documentary and I'd like to take a moment here to explain to you viewers in Canada that there's a Canadian organization, the first Muslim-based organization of Canada called Human Concern International, That's established right. in the uh, mid seven, uh, late 70s in Ottawa, are partnering with us since 2012 to support deaf education in Pakistan. And they came and visited four of our schools right. during the month of December 2018 and have a look at our Deaf Reach program viewed to their eyes. 
डेफिनेटली नजरीन आप ये देखें कि कितनी मेहनत से ये काम किया जा रहा है हम चाहते हैं कि इसी तरह से हमारी कम्युनिटी के दूसरे लोग भी इसी तरह के फलाही कामों में हिस्सा लें जिससे कि इंसानियत की खिदमत हो और इंसानियत की खिदमत करना एक बहुत बड़ा काम है तो सो डेनियल विल टेक अ शॉर्टर ब्रेक एंड विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ डू यू गाइस रेज फंड then uh, what's the method of raising fund to run those schools thank you keep watching the lapna pakistan my name is muhammad nurani and i am the regional director of fund development at hci this year i had the opportunity to travel to pakistan the fifth most populous country in the world The purpose of my trip was to visit a special project in Pakistan that HCI continues to invest in since the year 2012. It is a special project because it concerns a community of people who need a particular type of attention but unfortunately have been largely ignored. An estimated 9 million people in Pakistan suffer from some form of hearing loss. out of which 1 million are school aged children from these children less than 5% attend school through a partnership with the family educational services foundation or fesf hci is in a unique position to positively impact the lives of these deaf children allow me to share the unforgettable moments of my 3 day journey with you FESF has opened a school for deaf children called Deaf Reach. The school provides free education and skills training to 1200 deaf children. They have 6 campuses throughout Pakistan and I had the honor of visiting 4 of these campuses. When I first entered the Karachi campus of the school, I was greeted by Richard and Heidi, the founders of FESF and also the parents of a deaf child. As I walked inside the school, I was amazed by how clean and organized it was. Deafreach enforces the same standard across all their campuses. I interacted with the teachers and the students and they all spoke very highly of the quality of education at Deafreach. However, this is not where the day starts and ends for the children. Through the generous support of donors across Canada, HCI and FESF work together to establish and grow a livelihood skills training program within the schools. This means that students from class 5 onwards are trained in a minimum of 5 marketable skills ranging from sewing, embroidery, weaving, cooking and arts and crafts. With the more recent funding from HCI There is now also a bakery set up in the campuses to teach the students culinary arts. The students learn the skill as well as the marketing and selling techniques, giving them the confidence to run their own business. So what does this all mean for the deaf community in Pakistan? Well, to understand the complete impact of HCI's investment, I ask some of the students to take me to their homes so that I can speak with their parents. The students come from very poor villages that can be up to 40 kilometers away from the school. I could not help but notice how small the homes were with just an open space and one room. The parents were at a loss of words when trying to express the positive impact deaf reach has had on their lives. Shagufta The mother of two deaf girls explained that thanks to deaf reach she can now have high hopes for her girls. The livelihood skills training program in particular has given the children a sense of confidence that they did not have before. It has also helped change their behavior at home. After meeting with the parents, I realized that HCI was not just transforming the lives of the children but also of their families. What HCI and deaf reach are doing is something very special. However, we are still very far away from ensuring that quality education is a reality for all deaf children in Pakistan. With your support, HCI promises to stay committed to making this a reality.
Thank you to the entire Deaf Reach team for welcoming me and giving me the opportunity to be a part of the lives of Deaf children. My journey has taught me that with the right vision, creative ideas, and group of hard-working, dedicated people, it is possible to change our world. Welcome back. I heard that you know few uh, Urdu languages. No, I am very Sharmila. Very Sharmila. Look, Nazmin, Daniel has tried to learn English and he goes to the other countries. So it's good that Urdu is a language that I say that it's a language that is a language of the world and it's a language of uh, communication ki zuban hai uh, you might have met many caucasian in pakistan living like a uh, ordinary pakistani right <laughs> have you seen so many yeah. uh, when i went i bring i, I bring uh, I, my kids with them and i show them okay so look at these these are caucasian kids all with yeah, all uh, they are there so i mean this uh, pakistan is the same as canada uh, we accept the uh, people uh, uh, with the uh, with the uh, what you call it with a big heart and uh, their uh, inspiration, their hard work is is accepted in both countries, Canada yeah, and Pakistan. Yeah, that's right. Actually, yeah. Pakistan has been very good to us and you were talking earlier about how we support the school. Yes. If you have seen in the documentary, it looks like the school are very well set up and they're, yes, they have been set up through grants that we have received from right. the Pakistani government, from the Sin government actually. Oh, right, right. But the the daily operation of the school, we are trying to keep 1,200 students in school. Right. And the cost of the transportation, the uniform, their lunch, the bringing of the parent, the teacher's salary, all of that is only $900 per year per student. Okay. And 90% of that funding comes from Pakistan, within Pakistan. Right. But then once a year I come to Canada and I'm very grateful that uh, you invited me to come on your show so that I could tell the people of Vancouver, the Pakistani diaspora, of what they can do. So in partnership with Human Concern International, right, right. Um, your donation is, you will get a receipt for it and then it's also Zakat compliant. Okay. So Nazreen, you will see the month of Ramadan and the people who think about their Zakat think they want to give them somewhere, but they don't know where they are going to go. So, वो human concern Vancouver में को concern contact करें उनकी website भी है और उनका phone number पे भी आप website से मिल जाएगा जी नजरें हम बातों का सिलसिला जारी है हम पूछना चाह रहे हैं डेनियल साहब से कि आप ये बताएं कि human concern की बात हो रही थी कि human concern जो है इनके partner हैं जकात और खरात और दूसरे fund raise करने में so, General Saab, would you mind to tell the, our viewers that uh, which side they go and uh, they, they have to donate and they can donate? Zakat is a part of 2.5% uh, from our yearly saving. So, whatever number you can give. So, can you mention please? Yes, uh, thank you very much. You can go on HCI, Human Concern International. There's an appeal there for deaf students in Pakistan and it's a HCI project and they control all the funds and as I said earlier and you have seen in the video they have visited four of our schools and they're very happy with the way the schools are managed so thank you very much for considering giving your zakat to deaf students in Pakistan thank you very much Nazreen cause Pakistan ऐसी तरह की कॉलेज में हिस्सा लेता है और हम चाहते हैं कि हम इन चीजों को प्रमोट करें आपके साथ और इसी तरह से ह्यूमैनिटी की वेलफेयर का फ्ला का काम चलता रहे देखते रहिए वेंकुवर की जान दिल अपना पाकिस्तान
My name is Muhammad Nurani and I am the Regional Director of Fund Development at HCI. This year, I had the opportunity to travel to Pakistan, the fifth most populous country in the world. The purpose of my trip was to visit a special project in Pakistan that HCI continues to invest in since the year 2012. It is a special project because it concerns a community of people who need a particular type of attention.